In this video, we'll learn how to navigate between the cells in Excel using keyboard shortcuts. So now we are in cell B2, and we all know that when I hit enter, I go one step below. When I, if I need to move to one cell to the right, I can use the right arrow key to move here in this case to cell C3. I can also use the tab key to move one cell to the right. And I can use the left arrow key to move one cell to the left. And I can also use shift tab to move one cell to the left. Again, there are multiple ways you can do the same thing. So to move to the right, you can use either the right arrow key or the tab key. And to move one cell to the left, you can use the left arrow key or the shift tab combination. We can use the up arrow key to move one cell above, and we can use the down arrow key to move one cell below. And we've also already studied that we can use enter to go one cell below as well. These operations work even while we are entering information. For example, now let me move back to cell B2 and I'm trying to enter the author name for the second book, which is Mahatma Gandhi. And now I'm still typing information, but these keyboard shortcuts still work. For example, if I want to move one cell to the right, I can actually use my right arrow key now or the tab key right now. So I'm going to use tab. I find the tab key to be more convenient than the right, right arrow key. And similarly, I find the shift tab combination easier to use than the left arrow key if I'm trying to move one cell to the left. But you may prefer the other way. So it's completely up to you. Whichever method makes you the most efficient in entering data, please use that method. So, so far we have learned how we can navigate one cell to the right, one cell to the left, one cell above and one cell below. In some cases, you may actually want to stay in the same cell after you type the information. In such cases, you can use the control plus enter and that will actually keep you in the same cell. For example, I'm gonna type again, Mahatma Gandhi. And you can see here, that if I press control enter, now that information is entered into cell B2 and also I'm still staying in cell B2 as the active cell. This is useful when you want to stay in the same cell after you finish typing your information. Another thing you might have noticed what I did here was when I am in a cell which already has some data and I select this cell and I start typing something and I hit enter. Now the information that we originally had has been overwritten with the new information. And Excel will not give you any error messages or any notifications. So it's very important for you to know that if you select the cell which already has data and you type new information, Excel will take the new information and overwrite the old information. So now I'm gonna go back to cell B2 and continue entering the information. And another tip that I would give is, if you're trying to enter information in columns, just like we are doing now, we are entering information in one cell, then go to the next row and then the rest next row in the same column, in such cases, I would recommend using the enter key because as soon as you start finish typing one information, hitting enter automatically takes you to the next cell and you can continue typing. So this would probably be very convenient and an efficient way of entering data when you're entering information along the same column. In some cases, you may have to type information across the columns in the same row. In such cases, I would recommend using the tab key because that is very, very convenient. As I finish typing information and I hit tab, I move to the next one and I can keep moving one cell to the right 
and type new information. So that would be very, very convenient if you're entering information in the same row across the columns.